Hey everybody, today I'm going to review DeWalt's brand new DCN660 16 gauge angled finish nailer. Now this is a brand new tool in DeWalt's 20 volt max lineup and it does feature a brushless motor and some really nice design features that makes it very easy to use. Pretty much everything on it is going to be tool free so you can adjust the depth, clear jams, or even clear a stuck piston and that really makes it easy to use especially if you don't have other tools with you. Now also keep in mind because the only thing required to power this is going to be a fully charged battery pack. You don't have to replace expensive gas cartridges, run air lines, or deal with a compressor. Now what I want to do in this video is go over the different features that they have built into this. We're going to see exactly how it operates and then we're going to see how it actually performs. DeWalt is going to offer this nailer with two different configurations. One is going to be as a bare tool which would be just the nailer by itself and then they also offer it in a kit form. That's going to include the nailer, a 2 amp hour compact battery pack, a dual voltage charger that will charge the 12 volt batteries as well as the 20 volt batteries, and then this plastic carrying case. The case does have a handle built in so you can carry it around as well as two different metal latches. We can pop those open and inside you can see the nailer with the battery pack installed and also the charger. Now if you notice the extra room they have in here, they have two additional places for two additional battery packs. The high capacity packs are going to fit in here just fine. And then down here on the bottom is even a place for a full box of nails. Here's a closer look at the nailer and I do want to point out the yellow that you see is going to be a very hard plastic and then all the black is going to be a softer rubber over mold. Now you do want to keep in mind the dimensions of this versus some other power tools you have because it is going to be slightly larger. From the very base including the 2 amp hour pack to the top of the tip is roughly 12 inches and then from the tip to the back of the unit is also 12 inches. It's coming in at just over 4 inches wide and with that compact pack it weighs roughly 6 pounds. The nails that this uses are going to be 16 gauge 20 degree angled finish nails and they're very easy to load. Now all you'll need to do is line them up with the slot in the bottom of the magazine. Take the strip and just press them into place and you can easily grab onto both sides of it and move it towards the top of the magazine. At this point there's a little tab. You'll need to press that down. It's going to go over top of the nails and then when you release the tab it will catch the bottom of them pressing them into place. And now to use the nailer, it's as simple as unlocking the trigger, pressing the tip into the wood, and then pulling the trigger. There are going to be two different firing modes. What I just showed you was going to be the single firing mode. Down here on the bottom, you'll notice below the trigger, there's a little tab that will slide left to right, and we see one nail. That means in order to use it, you need to physically press it into the wood and then pull the trigger. But if you hold it on the trigger and then press it in the wood, it's not going to do anything. But if you want to shoot more rapidly and you're not worrying about those precise shots, you'll just flip this over to rapid fire or bump fired mode. Then when you hold it on the trigger, you're going to hear the motor ramp up and every time you move it around, it's going to fire a shot. At the base of the grip on either side of that selector switch there are going to be LEDs. It's going to light up when you use this and it's going to make it really easy to use in low light situations. Depending on the type of wood you're dealing with as well as the length of the nail, you may need to adjust your depth setting to make sure everything sets correctly. Now what we'll do right now is go ahead and shoot this in its most outward position, meaning the most shallow depth setting. And you can see the nail is actually sticking just above the surface because we are using 2 inch nails. To sink that below the surface we can rotate this back a little bit. Try that same shot. And now it's going to be sunk just below the surface. If we had an even longer nail, we could move that in all the way. It would put the maximum amount of force and sink it the deepest. Now a big concern to a lot of people is going to be its performance when it's not shooting a nail directly into a board, but it's coming in at an angle. You do want to make sure that it's going to sink it all the way, so it's not going to be sticking out above the surface. You'd either have to reset that with a nail set or worse, even remove it and damage the face of the trim. But what we'll do now is zoom in on this. 
we're going to come at it at roughly a 45 degree angle and see if it can sink this 2 inch finish nail through the trim as well as the 2x4. So now we'll come at it at a 45 degree angle, press it against the board and then pull the trigger. And you can see it had no problem sinking it below the surface. One other thing to point out, because it does have the no mar tip, when you press it against the trim it's not going to damage anything. And really the only thing you'll have to fill in is going to be that nail hole. Just pressing against the trim is not going to cause any marks, even if you make repeated shots. Now one thing you may eventually have to deal with when you use any nail gun are jams. Specifically when the nail tries to go through the wood, it hits something hidden behind the wall and it stops instantly. It's going to wedge itself in the end of here. Now many nail guns require tools to remove that, however DeWalt designed this to be completely tool free and I'm going to show you firsthand how easy it is to remove it. So taking a look at this piece of trim, we're going to use the vise as the metal that would be hidden behind the wall. The nail's going to hit that and you're going to see exactly what's going to happen. You can see it's now stuck to the board, the nail is wedged in the end, and it is extremely easy to remove this. To clear the jam, all you'll need to do is grab on the front right here, above the magazine, lift up, that's going to release tension off the drive mechanism. You can pull that up and then it's going to freely pop out. Now you can see the nail was twisted, it did not make it through the board because where it came through the back it did hit the vise. At this point the jam is completely cleared, we can lower that back down and instantly start firing nails. Now for a runtime test, I have a fully charged 2 amp hour battery pack and we're going to see how many 2 inch finish nails we can put into stack 2x4s on just one charge. hundred and fifty five two inch nails into stack two by fours on one two amp hour battery charge. So now you've seen DeWalt's brand new DCN 660 16 gauge angled finish nailer for yourself. Now the brushless motor in this did give it those extreme run times as well as that rapid fire action and really on the rapid fire or bump fire mode I could fire multiple shots per second every single nail sunk below the surface and throughout the entire runtime test we didn't have one jam or misfire. Now that was using the 2 amp hour pack which is their compact pack but it still put almost a thousand nails in before that battery died. If we were using one of the larger capacity packs like a 4 amp hour or a 5 amp hour pack the runtime would have easily doubled. Now you do want to keep in mind, because I was on rapid fire or bump fire mode, we got the maximum amount of run times. If you flip that over to single shot mode, it would still do a great job, but the run times wouldn't be quite as high because it wouldn't be quite as efficient. Now you also want to keep in mind this particular gun does not have a dry fire lockout. So you do want to keep an eye on your nails. When it gets down to roughly about the last 10, you want to add another pack in. Because if you don't and it runs out of nails, it's going to continue to fire. And you're going to think that it's sinking a nail because it will leave a mark, but nothing's going to come out. So just keep that in mind when you're using it. It's not going to automatically stop when it does run out of nails. 
Now this is made in the Czech Republic and DeWalt does carry it with a three year warranty. So if you ever have a problem with it during that time, they will fix or replace it for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching. Thank you.